Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 14 October 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Irma Fenter writes that mixed-use development Harbour Arches Live Work Play concept includes a refreshing, affordable component. The first phase of the Melrose Arch mixed-use development opened in Johannesburg in 2001, more than 20 years ago. Since then, the concept of a city within a city has gained traction, with the idea of living, playing and working in the same space now a much more familiar idea in South Africa. The newest urban area to gain such a development is Cape Town, as the AMDEC group rolls out the 16 billion rand Harbour Arch project within the City Bowl. The engineering news features focus on Transport Month, where the Transport Minister has officially launched the Transport Month campaign. Pumps, where a pump rental unit proves successful. And manufacturing, where lighting solutions are provided for manufacturing and processing facilities. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in West Africa, where Ghana comes out tops in West Africa. And Motors drives a mechanical power transmission, where a major OEM commissions a new low-voltage motor assembly line in Gauteng. This week's business leader is Nokonwaba Ngabazi, Chief Administrative Officer of Michelin Tire Company for Africa and Middle East. And in this week's cartoon, there is limited room for any surprises as South Africa's Finance Minister Enoch Godonwana puts the final touches to his medium-term budget policy statement to be delivered on October 26. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Creamer Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.